Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video for you today to explain what is the number one thing I see that absolutely destroys people's dreams. Because I don't want you to destroy your dreams. I want you to be successful. And you might have noticed that only a minority of the population ever actually gets to a point in life that they are happy with, that they're proud of. And I'm gonna give you one reason why that is. The way I see it, to give you a little bit of background here, there are three types of people, right? There are three kinds of people in the world and what results they get in life depends on which of the three categories they fall into. So type number one is the action taker. This is the person who comes up with an idea, who sees an opportunity, who finds something that is likely to pay off, especially when it comes to asymmetric risk reward and i did a video all about that recently i'll put up here if you want to check it out but the basic gist of it is that you um that the action taker will take action on opportunities where the potential gain is much greater than the potential loss um, because just about everything that you do has some risk right and so you look for the activities where you can gain a lot more than you can possibly lose the action taker is the person who jumps in with both feet even though there's a risk involved he knows that the reward is greater than the potential loss and so he jumps in he's decisive he doesn't hem and haw over every decision like that famous quote by Na napoleon hill successful people make decisions quickly and change them slowly whereas unsuccessful people make decisions slowly and change them quickly, right? The action taker is the person who makes decisions quickly and changes them slowly. So the action taker is the first type of person. The second type of person is the cynic. The cynic is the person who thinks that nothing is gonna work, that no opportunity is legitimate, that everything is a scam, and whatever crappy life circumstances he happens to have right now are gonna be the same life circumstances that he's gonna have for the rest of his life and there's no possible way to get out, right? You know these people, they're the ones that if you say that you wanna do something or if you wanna learn something or you wanna get into a new career, start a new business, they give you all the reasons that it's never going to work and tell you why the world isn't fair and why they're a victim and probably why you're a victim too, right? So that's the second type of person is the cynic. And now the third type of person is what I call the hesitator. This is the person who's not an action taker or a cynic, who's a person that sees opportunity and likes the idea of opportunity and likes the idea of taking action, but then instead of actually taking action, hesitates instead, right? Hems and haws and gets stuck in analysis paralysis and says, oh, well, what about the risk? And uh, what if it doesn't work? And is, is constantly consumed by the negative side of the risk reward profile even though the reward might be like this and the, the risk is like this they're focused on the small risk rather than the greater reward now from what i can tell and this is my unscientific analysis just based on what i've seen um, in the world is that action takers are about five percent of the population right only about five percent of the population are action takers Cynics are another about 5% of the population, right? Most people aren't that, you know, pessimistic. Uh, there's, there's a few and they're very loud and you, you hear of them a lot because whiny they are, but I don't think they make up more than 5% of the population, which leaves Hesitator at 90% of the population, right? This is the vast majority of people fall into this Hesitator category and this is why the vast majority of people never make their dreams come true. They never get what they really want out of life. So as you can probably guess, all of the success goes here, right? The action takers take all of the success in life, right? All of the successful businesses, all of the people making moves in their career. These are the people who are the action takers. The cynic gets nothing. Right. I mean, they scare away the people that like anybody who even wants to talk to them. Nobody wants to talk to the, the cynic. He's just a downer. And so they end up in the very worst situation. And then the just kind of average Joe ends up here. Right. 
hesitator. This is the way to mediocrity, right? And eventually what happens with these people is they're presented with an opportunity to massively improve their quality of life. And they say, oh, okay, that, yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds great. Um, let me think about it. Or, um, you know, maybe I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it next week or I'll do it next year or uh, I'll keep it on my radar, <laughs> right? These are all very hesitator phrases. And so what do they do? They think about it. They, they plan to do it tomorrow. They keep it on their radar and then they forget about it. And then the opportunity passes them by. Or if they say, I'll do it tomorrow, right? Well, what happens? Well, then tomorrow comes and then tomorrow becomes today. And then what do they say? Well, I'll do it tomorrow, <laughs> right? And so tomorrow never comes. And so they never take any action on it. They're always procrastinating. They're always putting it off because the truth is that the reason people hesitate in the vast majority of cases is fear, right? They're afraid that they're going to be wrong. They're afraid that they're going to be embarrassed. They're going to, they're afraid that they're going to get scammed, right? Like, especially if they're listening to the cynics, they, they're not this so cynical, they automatically assume, but they're afraid of that possibility. And, and by the way, if I was to ask you, which one of these three categories is most likely to get scammed or which, which category gets scammed the most, I guarantee you it's the action taker, right? Isn't that funny? The category that has all the success is also the same category of person that gets scammed the most. It's interesting how that works, but the reason is that let's say that you sign up for something that costs a thousand dollars, right? And it turns out to be a scam. Well, what if you sign up for 10 of those and they're all and, and nine out of 10 are scams, but one of them works. So you spent $10,000 and the one that works makes you a million dollars. Right? Well, all of a sudden, those nine scams are basically insignificant, right? Because one, one good decision, right? One hit, one good opportunity can cover for a hundred bad opportunities a hundred times over, right? And so this, it's this kind of person who is willing to take a risk and this type of person that falls on the bad side of that risk sometimes. But it's also this type of person who falls on the good side of the risk. And because of that asymmetrical risk reward profile, it means that it's this person that takes home all of the prizes that gets all of the success in life. And so if you would like to make your dreams a reality, if you would like to be successful in all of the ways that you know that you want to, then you have to, I mean, obviously if you're a cynic, you're probably not even watching this video. But if you are fall into the, the hesitator category, like most people used to, because we're all afraid of getting something wrong. And, and most of all, I think we're afraid of being embarrassed, right? We're afraid of trying something and failing and everybody laughs at us or looks at us with pity because, you know, we, we didn't make it. But if you look at all the people that have been successful in just about any area of your life, they all went through that right? They all took that risk. Most of them were um, humiliated in some way, right? They, they did fail along the way. Almost all of them failed along the way. Almost all of them faced criticism from the people around them. But that's just kind of the price of admission if you want to be successful. And that's exactly why so few people are. So the number one thing, the number one dream killer for most people is hesitation, right? Hesitation. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll think about it. I'll do it next year. I'll do it next week. I'll keep it on my radar. <laughs> these, these are the excuses people make to not take action now and to be able to hesitate because staying where they are is more comfortable to going off into uncharted territory where there might be a risk of failure. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm happy to hear what you think about it in the comments. Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Share this video with anybody who you know who needs to hear it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get my new videos. And I think if you enjoyed this video, you might also really enjoy this video as well.